All right, hello YouTube. Welcome to what I've been looking forward to for a while, and I'm also a little bit concerned about. We're playing Homeworld Three. It just released today. I think it released like a couple of hours ago. Uh, pretty much back from ban, and we're playing it. Uh, the community, the BWA Discord has been invited, but at the moment we just got cringe. Yep, there he is. Um, Hi. there he is. Yeah, hello, my best co-pilot. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to be playing through the campaign. I'm, If it's not terrible and I don't end up refunding it, I'm going to be playing through the whole thing on the channel because I've been looking forward to this. Um, we shall hope for the best. It was not cheap. No, nope, I've done this tutorial. <laughs> I did it during the beta. It was not cheap. Oh, dear. It was like 50 quid. To be fair, oh. I took a risk on the original Homeworld because it was 10 quid and at the time that was the most I'd ever spent on a video game. And it was my favourite game for like... Eight years or so. Oh, that's sixty dollars. Yeah. I do not buy very many AAA games ever. Uh -huh. So the fact I bought this one is to say a lot. Also, I have no idea who this is meant to be. I was about to say, who is she? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Good timing. That answers it. <laughs> Isaac Imogen, private channel contact. You copy? Read you clean and clear, command. Status of your synth cores? I have been taught that history moves like the tide. A slow, inexorable movement. That the surf crashing on the beaches of time is an illusion. A momentary expression of change. Yeah, whatever that's supposed to be. <laughs> Quantum conduit is green. If there are links with ship's power I'm less happy with. Are you calling red? Right now, that surf threatens everything I have ever known. I should save that uh, sound effect for if I see anyone's playing Stellar Blade. Did not catch that. A little bit of that. Are you calling Red? Yesterday, my work made sense. I don't want to. I've heard it's actually good. Never played a game like it though. Well, besides that one, what's it called? The synthetic hyperspace cores I designed. Okay, so that's a big one. I'll explain those in a minute. Ooh, okay. We were going to usher in a new age for my people, freeing us from reliance on ancient, unfathomable progenitor technology. Today, they are a means to an end. Today, Ooh, space runner from a Desert Sakaar as the only possible yeah. navigator of the Higari mothership, Karkushan. Karkushan. There it is. A little bit less space banana than the first two, but. A little more space uh, stealth bomber. Really, really big stealth bomber. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sister ship. Oh, it's a the big flying wing, isn't it? Disappeared twenty years ago mm -hmm. in the region. Of space. Is that the one in the other game? No, it's another one of this class, apparently. Mm. The other two was um, I don't know what the first was called, but the second one was the uh, Pride of Figara. Only four. Oh wait, is she being so like? She's the core, yeah. They they've like wired her in as the ship's core. That's what they did with um, Karen in the um, the second and first games. Yeah. She's like the organic computer for the ship. She did get to leave eventually. It's not permanent, but it is like semi permanent. You're not the same afterwards. I don't know. Will I even still be me after the procedure? My boards match. I concur. Launch enabled. Power is internal. There is no more time for training. No more time for preparation. We've been ordered to launch. Oh. My entire life has been study, analysis, planning. Today, the galaxy is burning. Honest? Looks peaceful to me. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought they were supposed to be doing pretty well at the moment. Maybe I missed something. I'll sort of explain a brief history of what happened after the uh, intro, but Lord um, quick, Lord a little Lord um. I'll try and keep it brief, but yeah. My name is Imogen Sajet. Oh well, one and two remasters are out there. They're pretty cheap, so I, I do recommend them. They're very good. I recommend them more than playing the original versions, at least for Homeworld One, because controls are so much better in the remake. The like, Homeworld One's still decent in both forms, but it's so much clunkier in the original. But we're in. Well, sure, as that is faster than the original. <laughs> oh, I don't like that flickering from the light, though. Yeah, you, you seen that? I just saw. 
I Ooh. saw the whole ship just like angel moon move up there? over to the left. Oh, did it? Oh, I didn't see that. To begin calibration. Yeah, it like stuttered and moved over to the left. I think it's just a slight animation error, but... Fleet control systems load out, commencing now. Oh. Sensors. Control. Objectives. Resource. Build hmm. and research. Launch. Okay. Selection. Command. Fleet intelligence online. Ah, they fixed the sensitivity. It was like trying to move the camera through mud originally for some reason. Half dozen software constructs going into chaos. Or it just remembered by settings from the beta. To clamp down the logic loops. Would be better in two, command. Are we mission capable? Sorry, Intel, but I've got reds and resourcing systems right now. Are we a warship? Well, uh, it is a mothership, so it's not very good at direct combat. But it's like a mobile researching construction facility. Uh, okay. So even if it's not much of a fighter on its own, it could very quickly pump out a whole fleet if you give it the right support. Mm. At least that's how the other motherships have worked. They're, they're reasonably durable, but pretty vulnerable on their own. I see, I see. Secure comms established. Kushan proceeding to resource storage area alpha. I think we're learning how to control. Slightly asymmetrical. Yeah, a little bit. Ah, sensor, sensor view is still here. Online. You can zoom out and quickly see everything. Data and all and that, that blue is like what we can see, basically. Move the mothership into the designated area to That's not a lot. It. It's not a lot. Not on its own. It's not terrible, but it's not big. Yeah, so to, to briefly explain, I think they want us to move the ship. I'm not got the mothership selected. Hello? Move? Hello? Move us to mark position. I guess they just want us to right click. Oh, okay. There we go. That's what I expected. New position set. Move us out. Estel focus. Estel focuses. Engine capacity ramping to. We missing a panel. I feel like that much of the bottom shouldn't be exposed. Um. They usually do have like a panel that detaches. So I wonder if we're gonna pick that up at some point. Also, I don't recognize these ships. These are new. I like those. I think all these designs are new. Well, can you look at it again? Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you. Oh. Just a quick screenshot. Right, Hello, buddy. Hello. Right. Look at him, he's so cute. He is. See, he's got little drones. So, yeah, they actually carry little drones with them now. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so resource controllers used to be little, like, drop-off zones for, like, or drop-off ships for, like, resources you picked up. And I think now they just carry a set of collectors with them in this game, which is kind of cool. Position noted. Moving now. Oh, okay. Is this Oof. a lot of micromanagement? It's l in theory, it's less, because you don't have to manage two types of ships. You just have one that does both. Okay. Reset. I the whole game. Oh, I see what you mean. There's a little bit. It is a strategy game. Mm. So like the mothership's almost there. Mothership. Okay, she's in place. Yes, yeah, so if we have a look, in theory, I think it should like. Oh, here we go. We're getting a cutscene. They used to look a lot like little crabs. It's not quite so much now, but I think they still got a little bit of that. Resource collection in progress. Some slight crabbage. Engineering. Monitor disassembler array harmonics. Look, oh, okay. actually, focus on these. That's new. Monitor. You didn't used to be able to focus on our resource containers. Mm. Oh, we are missing Waiting a bit. On a <laughs> You'll be second to know. Oh, what that second? Camera will flick it over. Oh, it's like oh, it's like the collectors from the first game. They don't pull it off. They actually like suck up the resources from it. Okay. Oh. In the second game, they'd sort of like pick the canisters up and haul them onto a storage base somewhere. Mm. I'm trying to give the guard the mothership. If you will be my bodyguard, order a ship to guard another ship. Yeah. I told them to look after the mothership. I'm not sure what it's going to do, but. <laughs> we'll test the guns. Drones will conduct simulated attack runs on the mothership. Set the mothership's stance to aggressive. This will activate the car Kushan's okay, defense. controls is four, that's good. The test. There's two rather, that's good. I know they did one of the things in this they wanted to do in one of the really early games, which is having turrets on the ships that physically move around, which is pretty cool. Oh my god, it's Star Wars. <laughs> it's the little force drones. 
<laughs> We're missing textures. <laughs> I think it's just a little like target marker, but it does look a bit like that. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the things they wanted to do in like one of the older games was having a little like the turrets like moving around. Well, that's really cool. I like how they do that. They're just sea whiz? Yeah, they're just sort of anti fighter guns. Mothership hold turrets calibrated. Mm. Objective complete. Are you flowing to support? Is that a little, um, what's called a docking base on the film? Production is optimal as it's going to be until we get a full capacity production module. Bring our recon squadron to. As usual, she's launching off British. <laughs> Yay. That's almost tradition for the motherships at this point. Right. How many am I supposed to build? Mm. Five, apparently, although we've only got the resources for a few. Team seven. There's a reverse manifold installation and resource mm. transfer. How many am I making? Not sure how many I'm making. I oh. I think to begin, right click to cancel. Okay, so you don't. You need to engage more target drones. Oh, that was researching it. Okay. Mm. Okay, I was going to say it should have a probably got gauge on it. Oh, of course, you get one for the whole the whole run and one for the thing. Ooh, what is this? This is a scout. A recon guy. Oh, cool. Stand by to receive data. He's just a little guy. He's so cute. So scouts usually have a very big sense of range, and they're pretty terrible in a direct fight, but they're not completely helpless at least. Yeah, I saw it has a gun on the front. Yes, yeah, recon production complete. Target drones have been positioned ahead. Can we do the recon fighters? Can we do Let's control? Do the books. We can. Okay. Fancy. You could do like control, click and drag to make them attack like the whole lot at once, which is quite nice. And they'll automatically pick good targets. So like anti fighter ships will go for fighters. That kind of idea. Anti capitals. Will okay, that's go that's for good. big ships. Good shoot it. I'm pretty sure, compared to the older ones at least. Okay, this feels about right. It's interesting they take a formation straight away. I didn't have time to do that. She normally would have. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Hmm. Upgrade. Objective complete. Hey. Ooh, research a speed okay. boost. Okay. Let's see if we can bring our birds home. Dock strike craft. On the docks will be. Is. Yeah, it looks like D. This is kind, this is why I didn't bother with the tutorial because I was also like usually the first missions are kind of a tutorial anyway. So yeah, I was about to say this is just a tutorial. And it didn't teach you the controls, was... but it it certainly te taught the uh, the mechanics anyway. Ah, <sighs> mechanic. Okay, so hangers are on the tips of the wings this time. Hangar teams report successful docking. And they'll um, they'll show up in the dock. Oh, all the launch is off by default now. And then when you launch, and they'll automatically take off. Here we go. That also already got promoted. I think that's the guy who um who helps you out in the second game. We are away. No wait, did he did he die? I can't remember. He's certainly got the same name anyway, but intelligence officer Pontu. Oh, sir. Consider this briefing to be under the sunrise on Carrick protocols. There will be no more communication from Igara, and you are to remain calm silent until mission completion. I love the sound suspect. We are in the middle okay. of an unfolding crisis. Apparently. <laughs> no matter what you may have heard, I assure you, it's worse. Yeah, what is actually happening? The following events occurred simultaneously. Yeah. Oh. Across multiple major systems. Uh oh. The Vega back? Adjacent to no. the anomaly region. That was a hyperspace gate. They fired like a laser through it. No, they blew up China! <laughs> oh no. We don't really know what happened to Karen and her fleet. Just that they disappeared and the anomaly Karen. stopped spreading. Until now, we believe these events were deliberate attacks. 
and that they and the anomaly are linked. Hyperspace has been weaponized. Every simulation we've run results in the total collapse of galactic civilization. This must be stopped. Reasons? <laughs> First, we need you to access facility 315 where a prototype production module and supplies are in storage. We have traced the gate power flow to the Noctua 27 system, which appears to be the focus of the anomaly. You will make best speed to the Noctua 27 system. Is that understood? Understood. All right, so someone's the protocols are lifted, opening up hyperspace gates to safe. attack planets, basically. Certain? Yeah. Pick up Sir. the missing bit of the ship and then go save the world. Confirmed, cool. Dara. Okay, makes sense. Are you sure this is the optimal path? This ship is not ready. I'm not prepared. Imogen, the galaxy is not the laboratory. Karen knew this. And it allowed her to succeed where other suggests might have failed. I'm not Lady Karen. You must see in yourself what countless others do. My precious granddaughter. Okay, I guess. I, I figured it out when they had the I don't same really last remember. name. Can you get us there? So. I don't really remember Karen ever really panicking. She was more just sort of like, all right, <laughs> I'm the only one who can do this, so I guess I'll do it. Mm -hmm. You'll be being shilling. Yeah, I guess our new pilot's a bit more, uh, more of a rocky. Why is her hair, like, completely static in the water? Yeah, it's moving around a bit. Well, I guess it's not water. It's probably like a thick liquid, so she stays in place. So I guess that makes sense. Never mind. I've answered my own question. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the Star Wars um like thing with Darth Vader. Bantha, Bantha pod. No, wait, it's not. Oh, Bantha. Bacta. It's not called a Bacta, not Bantha yet. Yeah, Bacta. Not quite what I was thinking of, but I, I can see what you mean. Hey, we have still got the square. That's how the hyperspace works. Square of doom. The only thing is, from what I've seen, it doesn't. It usually collapses into a line, and then that line turns into a point. But now it just seems to sort of flatten out of existence, which is a bit of a shame. That looks cool. Whatever this is. Are we running on spice? Are we using the Doom hyperspace system now? <laughs> is this like the whole, like, you take the weird space drug and fold react? I think it was just the the stream, but I swear it looked like she just popped into existence for a second there. This isn't... Where am I? It's, it's the beach from Gart the Ban Ban. Hmm. Oh boy. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah. What's the uh, job from Bill? Like Bill's gone mad from sniffing too much flex glue. <laughs> Your vitals are spiking, Command. Are you still mission capable? The jump. It. It wasn't what I anticipated. But the equation balanced out. You have that right. Ugh, it makes me uncomfortable to think my computer is a person. Never lie. Okay. You got a servitor in your PC? Real space coordinates acquired. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Good to see you again. Okay, so to briefly explain the hyperspace cores thing, um, like the original sort of. Oh, I think it's going to be more cutscene. Yep. That's me. So I'll get to that eventually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where we will load our production module. With this module on board, we will be able to conduct unlimited. You kind of look like the um, space stations from Elite, if you've ever played we that. Need to and establish a secure area of I downloaded it and didn't really continue to play. Oh, was, oh, right. oh so was that the new one or the old one? I have no clue. Oh, it's, it's the original Elite's very old. Yeah, so the hyperspace cores, that's these three here. They're from like a very old space race, the progenitors. And they're basically yeah. what all hyperspace travel in the galaxy was built on. Uh, we eventually collected all three, woke up a big ancient super weapon, and uh, saved our home world with it in the second game. Yes, oh, a, sir, there are only a finite amount of these. There was only three, so the fact we've made our own is quite impressive. Results, I guess. Hey. Um, it must be the blood probes. Um, I've got to research them. Or do we? No, we don't. We've already got them. Um... Where's it going? 
Uh, right, so the first game's plot. Um, basically, you are the uh, Kushan. Livers are mm -hmm. on a pretty crappy like Probe desert world. Um, oh, we've still got the animated probes that unfold and everything. I wonder if there's still one shot. You used to only be able to move once, so I'll be interested to see if that's still a thing. But they give a huge sensor range. Um, and basically, on your desert world, one day, expedition out in the desert finds a very old spaceship wreck that has a rock in it with um, a map to their actual home world. It turns out the one they're on is not their original one. Um, so, yeah, I'm already doing that. Oh, I can build more resource controls. Yes, please. Um, so, they, they it finally sort of unites all their sort of slightly arguing, like, desert arguing war, war, at war or whatever, like desert clans. I only wanted to move one of those. Okay, you can change their direction and maybe remove them. That's good. That's new then, because they used to be you send them to a location, they stop, and that's it. Um, so it, it reunites the clans, they build the mothership, and they go to, like, take a look, right? <laughs> um, where you, you do the first hyperspace check, um, mothership, like, miss jumps, and it's going to, like, meet up with a ship that's been going there the slow way kind of thing. Like, the first time I've ever used the hyperspace, and I'm not entirely sure it'll work and everything. Um, they get back, the whole world's like been destroyed um and it basically turns out the reason for that is they've broken some like um like ancient treaty that said you will not dis um develop hyperspace that they didn't even remember they made basically and the whole game is like trying to work out like a what's going on with that and also be obviously trying to get back to your home world mm -hmm. the original home world or? yes higara which is like the actual world they're from uh, oh, okay. Second game, uh, a bunch of like uh, like nomad warlords um, end up attacking, like the homeworld, and it's basically he's trying to wake up uh, God, basically. Oh, let's, let's send him on this to there, okay. And your goal is basically uh, maybe don't let him do that, and also stop him sieging the homeworld. Go get help, basically. And if you're a small child, the plot it like myself. The plot is, uh, get to level 3, it gets stuck. <laughs> because for some reason, level 3 is a gigantic difficulty spike, especially if you didn't do well in level 2. Because there's some things um, you get as, like, bonuses if you do well in level 2. And I was not good enough to get those. Relocate the mothership to the transport oh, no. Point. The mothership is in position. Transmitting activation codes now. The mothership's assets are in stable hibernation. Status. But yeah, you basically wake up a ancient progenitor starship everyone thinks is God. Stick the uh, hyperspace cores in it and then um, use it to go back and defeat the uh, Vagar Warlord's like, final weapon, which is a bunch of planet killers. Also, don't screw it up, because every missile you miss is about 100 million people dead. Oh my gosh. A lot of people dead. Yeah. Okay, there's our missing piece. I like how they separate the entire station. Like, this mothership's like a few miles, like, wide. Like, <laughs> that station's really? even bigger. Yeah, it's huge. It's really big. It's oh. a bit hard to tell from a distance, but it is a really, really big ship. See if I can get an idea of the scale by zooming in on it. I mean, like, those little dots are windows. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there's, like, a little bridge bit or something. Oh, yeah. Graphics look alright. They're on medium, for anyone wondering. That's what it automatically set them to, so I'm just going to leave it on there and hope for the best. Oh. Oh, who's this? Not a ship. Space pirates! Could well be. I don't recognise these ships. They showed off a couple of designs in the previews, but not very much, and I've avoided spoilers. <laughs> yeah, these are the ones I saw shown off. Cool looking. Uh -huh. Are they much of a match for our uh, scouts? I know they were talking about the afterburner upgrade. Oh, yeah. Prepare to engage. Weapons free. 
Take a look at that, right? What does it cost? 500? We're yeah. pulling up our probes! And it... Oh, actually, anyway, actually, what is more of a problem is that our harvester's going over there. Let's not lose that. Produce additional strike craft to better defend against incoming hostiles. These aren't strike craft. These are scouts. <laughs> I don't even count these. As... Oh, they're well, they're scout fighters. So think of it as like those like recon mustangs from like World War II, where they still had like four fifty cals instead of six fifty cals. I said. Had cameras. I said about them not really being considered proper fighters. They're making short work of these things. Mothership taking damage. Are we? Oh, it's more. Yeah. Command, your vitals are all over the place. Are you injured? I can hear them all. Just, yes. What? Every ship lost. Their screams. The yes, you're on the comms. That's why. Curses. <laughs> all of it. Yeah, maybe not that. Imogen, I... Sands and sinners. You have to push through it. Okay, our fleet command is nuts. Is what I'm getting from this. Yeah, she's going crazy. We've got the space madness. Space madness. Sorry, over madness. Oh, they fixed that thing. One of the issues someone had in um with the the beta that I kind of had as well, but I just did mostly ignored it. Was that a lot of the uh, abilities? Oh, I love the effect for that. It's really cool. Oh, there's some over there. Let's go send them in for repairs, but there's more of them. Go get them. Um, was that like there were some cool like abilities? But they were like such short cooldowns and such fast recharges that it would have been like awful to try and like micromanage them and actually have them running properly. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, they are pirates. Oh, you're right, they are pirates. Yeah, I can tell by the graffiti. Keep your guard up. Either. Why are you guys standing still? Move, your whole thing is speed. There's a lot of them, but they're not putting out much of a fight. I don't think we lost any recon ships, have we? How many have I got? I still got ten. I haven't lost any yet. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're getting proper. Oh, interceptors. We're getting proper fighters now. This is this is what I consider the smallest actual warship. Do actually oh, dock with the ship. Increase. They've got to research them, haven't they? It's fine, the Mothership can take care of a few of those on their own. We're going to lose that one, probably. Well, maybe not. Well, they actually have bullets bouncing off there. Did you see that? I saw a couple of them actually bounce off one of those ships. Looks like we have individual like population counts for these ships. Oh, hello, Edward. Number three. Yes. I I said this earlier, but I guess you weren't there. Uh, World War Two was like my favorite capable time for a long while, so I've been looking forward to this. It seems all right so far. Space still tier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one way of looking at it. Where's our new interceptors? I want to see them. There we go. Okay, they're kind of like a bigger version of the Scout with twin guns on the front. The Let's see those in action. In you go, fellas. Yeah, they're, they're not too much different than the uh, recon in terms of how they move, but... I think the enemies you're facing are about the equivalent of interceptors, judging by their size. Yeah. And weapon loadout. Oh, I see. Hang on. More of them. But yes, as I said, for what we're doing, we picked up the missing it piece is, of the mothership. I think we've got it bolted on there, actually. Yeah. Yep. And we're, uh, we're dealing with some local pirates. But we're not very far through yet. It's only level 2, and level 1 is pretty much a second small tutorial. Alright, no problem so far. Also, the, uh, the resource collector's changed a bit. Yeah, looks like the one from Elite, that station, I reckon. The resource collector's now like a little mothership of its own, with its little, uh, little baby resource collectors. Oh. Okay, that could be a problem. We don't have anything... Uh... Oh! Oh, hyperspace does that, does it? I've never seen that before. Oh, wait. 
And that would like take chunks out of things. That's kind of cool. Is that a character? What if I Deserts of Karak? Oh, right. Yeah, Deserts of Karak is the spin off. <laughs> it's like the furthest away from the normal games. Is that a pirate carrier? Yeah, a pirate Why carrier, I guess. Camo? I love that little uh, little snake bite like logo. That's kind of cool. Kalen pirate carrier in the AO. Defend the mothership. Are we going to be able to build bombers? Because we're a little lightweight in terms of our weaponry. That said, let's at least go take a look. Carriers don't directly engage Hagaran forces often, but don't underestimate their strength. Oh, oh, the intercept is an upgrade as well. Temporary damage boost. Okay. Oh, extent in change for armor. Okay. Maybe not. Interceptor right, go for the go for the fighter escorts, especially you guys. Don't go for the carrier first. We do want to kill the carrier, but we're not going for that first. What you should do is capture the carrier. Nah. If we had a capture ship, we could try it. But we haven't got one yet. Thing? They usually are. Usually do get at least some way of capturing things. Nope, not reading that. Yeah, I'm not no, going to read that one yet, because I've been avoiding spoilers for this game. I know a few bits vaguely, but that's fine. It can stay as long as, it's, as, long as we don't read it. Oh, you mean for Karak? Oh, oh, if it's for Karak, that's fine. I've played all of Karak. It's only if it's uh, spoilers for Cringe. Yeah, I finished Karak. We, we already have. Okay, we're launching fighters. Okay, yeah, so they are launching new ones as we go. Uh, I don't know where our recons went. Go for these guys while you got overcharge up your armor's weak. Don't let them shoot you. Okay, simple enough so far. Oh, they're attacking the mothership again. Uh, we've got resources, we can build some more stuff. Can we attack subsystems still? Can we target the engines? No. I wonder if that's just because that's not in the game, or whether it's because we need bombers with the uh, the anti-subsystem bombs to do that. Maybe bombers. But yeah, there used to be a system where you could attack specific bits of some ships. Like, you can knock out, like, the production systems on a ship so it couldn't reinforce mid-fight, that kind of idea. Or, like, the engines so they'd be stuck for a little bit until they repaired. Interesting, okay, okay. Got it. Really oh, it actually like wants us to make... It actually Keep wants us to make 20 interceptors, I didn't even realise. Objective complete. Cool, I guess. Is there a limit? Uh, yeah, there's a cap when I mouse over is 30. I'm not going to spend all our resources on them, but I am going to let it finish building the current lot. We're taking a little bit of damage fighting this thing, but it's not awful. Yeah, go for that. We could really do with some slightly beefier ships, but... Well, we don't have that option. Okay. Kaboom. Yeah, no, I was thinking because you said about uh, Karak. Yeah, I played all of them. Um, I actually had the DLC for Karak. <laughs> played all of it in the end. Um, didn't play much of the skirmish, though. It didn't actually keep my interest outside of the campaign, which is interesting, because normally Homeworld does, but... That one I felt was really built around its campaign. It's played skirmish all the time, although my entire strategy was um, rush battle cruiser, and I never played it online. Which is probably for the best, because I would have been absolutely squashed. But I was terrible at it. Again, couldn't get past level three as a kid. Yeah, I like how the bullets are actually like bouncing. Some of them. See, there's a few oh, of them like yeah, peeing off into space. It is actually picking up damage, if you look. See, it's got like... Oh, look at all those reaction thrusters firing, that's cool. There's actually like a big hole missing out the engine there, I can see. I think we got this. I wish you guys would hurry up and shoot down the fighters. <laughs> but the carrier's unarmed, don't worry about that. Shoot the fighters down first, then go back to shooting it. <laughs> at least as far as I can tell, this thing's unarmed? I haven't seen it shoot anything at us. Um, 
Um, those are all sensors. Oh, no guns in the bottom. No. I think it's just ours bouncing off. Interceptors, usual overcharge. Okay, that's chewing through fairly quickly now. Yeah, realistically, we shouldn't be taking on something the size of a carrier with fighters, but it's what we have access to. Oh, he's running away. Oh, he's running. He's running off. Carriers with they broke reality and flew through hyperspace. They're fleeing to lick their wounds. I go back. Speak of, go back and repair. <laughs> Speak of licking wounds. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Mission objectives complete. Bro's not doing too well. Oh my god. <laughs> he really isn't oh, doing well. Oh, what? Just shot full of holes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um. Oh, it's gonna be a cutscene. I was going to say, I'll end the first episode there, but we'll wait for this uh, cutscene to finish. See what I mean about the inside? Engineering is working hard oh, yeah. to integrate new production modules, but for now, current ship building oh. options remain limited. The Kalen Raiders we encountered are the last remnants of a Tidani vassal state. Okay, so Tidani were the villains in the, um, the first game. The Tidani. Older, obsolete design. Obsolete or not? Hyperspacing through a solid object. That shouldn't be possible. Ah, so that wasn't normal, okay. We have to assume the worst. Yeah, I don't know if you saw Hedward, but it like cut a chunk out of the rock when it came in. And the anomaly. Yeah, so outfitting and enhancing these raiders to stop us. We need to get By equipping them with no anti capital ship weapon. Or even any gun that they pull carrying. No, yeah. Completely obsolete. Optimal strategy. We're trying to sneak in. Okay. Well done. And I was impressed to see you getting a handle on combat. You had me worried after that first encounter. I'm I guess this guy's a little bit more of a veteran. The losses. But I don't want to forget them. May the burden remain. Sorry? It's an old pact to say. Even in victory, there is loss. Forget that? It's to forget them. What if you do like a perfect victory and no one died though? Plotting a course to cross the Great Boreal Sea in a single jump. Setting quantum waveform damming fins to maximum. Stand by. So, well, I do like the sort of ripply effect on the uh, high space. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's more visions. Okay. Oh, yeah, Fleet Command might be going nuts. <laughs> these satellite visions yeah. when we hyperspace. Focus. I mean, we don't know that Karen wasn't having these Not when she did it in the first two games, matters. but. Oh god, it's Sam. It's the Black Pyramids, it's the Gash. This must be nerve failure. Multi reality personality reintegration. Impose your will. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Pyramid says, let me in. Focus, Edison. Is this a ship graveyard? Uh, could be. That looks like one of the hyperspace gates we found right in the last cutscene of the second game. Hyperspace mm. complete. So it might be a big hyperspace gate and a progenitor. Yeah, like you say, shipyard. Are you okay? Ship wreckage. Yeah. The games always the games have always had at least it's the second one, these gigantic like monoliths. But they've usually been background details because engine limitations meant you couldn't really do stuff with them in game. Understood, Command. That's one of the things they really wanted to do with this one and seem to have done. I'm going to pause real quick, and we'll end the episode there. I think we're off to an okay start. That wasn't bad. A few yeah. graphical glitches and things, but not awful. That was only in, like, the first cutscene, so... And this is, like, release day, so this is the sort of thing that might get patched out. It's not, it doesn't Honestly, excuse it, but it might get patched out. Yeah, <laughs> it's... So far, it's going better than it's, other AAA games. It's minor so enough. Give them that. Yeah, it's a lot better than the Kerbal 2 launch. This genuinely feels like something that just slipped by after people checked. Yeah, it could be. It's like, because you didn't even notice until I pointed that out, like, where the ship basically, like, teleported to the A left. Bit, yeah, I mean, it, it wouldn't have been super unobvious if you'd been paying attention. I was looking to the side, but yeah. Right. 
we'll call the first episode there, and I'll see you guys in the next one, which we'll be recording right pretty much right away. Bye all. Yeah, see ya.